Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, Team Gohan Fighter, back with another video, and today I'm going to do my Ruby Volume 4, uh, uh, Chapter 8, aka Episode 8, Review. Um, ugh. So, uh, yeah, I um, just watched Ruby. Um, it was called uh, Much Needed Talk. And uh, there was a lot of talking in this episode, so let's get to it. Um, so, this episode really begins with um, basically everyone talking. Uh, Ruby, Nora, Jin, um... everyone basically and crow uh basically leading the way um john yeah down to um um so basically they uh crow is basically just explaining to the group that uh what happened to uh pura um obviously people are like upset about it you know they're telling them how you know you know, uh, Cinder gained one, uh, part of the eyes, you know, uh, which we kind of knew already, but now they're explaining it to them, to the team. Um, so, they're explaining basically all this, um, or he's explaining this, basically to them, you know, in a pit, like, the, like they're, like, in a, like, pit of fire or whatever, like, they're, you know, they're, like, talking while the fire's going or whatever. So, uh, they talk about that stuff. You know, about Pura and stuff like that and what happened to Pura. That was her choice. And then also then after that they get, uh, he Crow then gets into the Silver Eyes, you know, because Ruby's like, well, why is he after me? And he basically says you basically put a target on your back. And, um, you know, that, you know, not many people can do the Silver Eyes, and people that have it, you know, they don't like people that are having it, you know, because it's a threat to them, basically. So, uh, they have this, she has the Silver Eyes, and so that's a threat to them. And, um, it's pretty interesting, um, you know, what where they're going with this, because again, this is mostly, mostly this episode was just kind of explaining everything, so we'll probably get more action in the next episode, um, but, um, this is kind of now going along, this is basically going, basically aligning the plots of what we ever, everything we already knew, um, for the most part, everything we knew, um, so, You know, that's kind of basically the first element of the episode. Um, again, explanation. Then, um, the next part of the episode, or the next scene of the episode, is basically we got, uh, Blake. Uh, again, Blake's back in it. Um, you know, we, uh, she, Blake, uh, with the mother. And, uh, they, they're basically talking, you know, and then eventually, you know, uh, the, the mother gives Blake the, uh, the tea, um, stuff, and so then she goes in to talk with the father, you know, and, you know, basically, he accidentally puts sugar in the tea or whatever, and she don't like that, but, you know, she still drinks it or whatever. And, uh, basically, she likes, like, how can you still love me or whatever because I joined the White Fang or whatever, and he basically says, you know, you found your own path and stuff like that, you know, um, and you got out of it, and all that good stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, um, that was a pretty uh, good touching moment for those two, I guess. Um, for Blake and the father. 
basically, then Sun Wukong, uh, basically, I guess, was snooping, um, you know, and the door broke somehow. Uh, apparently, these doors aren't that strong, um, if it breaks that easily. Um, but, you might have put too much pressure on it. <laughs> Maybe Sun's just too strong for the door. About that, put too much pressure on the door. <laughs> And so then he tried to do a cover that, you know, there's the bathroom or whatever. <laughs> so uh, that didn't obviously work. Um, yeah. Uh, then the father basically was like, I hate you. You know, again. Um, yeah. Um, then we go back to the Ruby team. Um, well, current Ruby team, I guess. Um <laughs> And then Crow is now explaining even more stuff. Basically, now he's explaining the concept of how the human race started in the Ruby universe, basically. Uh, that there's, you know, that there was a little brother and there was an older brother and they couldn't agree on something. And then they made an agreement where there could be a choice of destruction or life, basically. And stuff like that. Kind of uh, religion metathocal stuff, uh, basically. Um, and, you know, there's a choice for everyone on what they want to do. And if they get the four elements, basically, which is what the villains basically want at this point, is they, they want all four of them so they can change the world, which is what Crow basically explains. Um... That's what they basically want, and, uh... Uh, Ruby basically says that, you know, we, uh, follow Crow, but, and, uh, you know, but why didn't you trust me? And she would be like, it's not about trust, you know, it's about not, you know, getting everything out, like, he's, they're not supposed to tell people, so it won't get out, so they won't have to fight in the war, basically. So, uh, that's basically an explanation for Crow's whole... Thing, basically um, for everything that happened and um, kind of a weird you know thing but um, like I said we kind of fully know what the villains want now and um, besides obviously trying to get Ruby um, we should be I think we're gonna be finding out more about Ruby's abilities in the coming episodes because I really want to know what her maximum potential is with the uh, the silver eyes which I still want to know that <laughs> anyways um Um, so, then, after that whole explanation, uh, we go back to Blake and Sun Wukong, who are basically arguing. And, uh, you know, Blake's like, what are you doing, you know? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that, you know? And he's, you know, I'm here to spend time with my family and stuff like that. It's not about attacking the White Fang. And then, you know, he basically explains he overheard what her mom said. And, um, you know, then she's in the market and they're not wearing the mask or whatever. Um, so then, uh, you know, right when they're, you know, you know, she's not going to believe him, you know, because there's like a, you know, he throws the phone away, you know, of the picture and stuff like that of, his, of, his, uh, of Sun Wukong's evidence. And then Blake, you know, hears the noise of, you know, a White Fang member, and then he sees it. And Sun Wukong sees it, and he's like, oh, a ninja. Oh, a ninja, <laughs> or whatever, White uh, Fang. And then Blake leaves, and then the mother's like, what happened? And boy, Sun Wukong's still there, and he's like, I'm going... To, uh, I, I, I was right. I knew the White Fang are evil. Don't worry. I'll bring your daughter back. Or, you know, like, yeah. Um, so there's going to probably be something going on there. Um, for another...
Black Sun Wukan moment. Er, yeah, right. Wasn't it? Isn't Black Sun? Yeah, it is. Never mind. Um, so yeah, because I think. Well, I think. I mean, we don't know, but I think. I think. We'll see. But yeah. Um. So then the last scene, we're back at the Ruby team, and it's basically uh, the next day. So I'm assuming everything is over by now. Uh, but we'll probably get more into the episode for uh, Blake in the next uh, week, which is going to be what is it, that episode's most likely going to be about. It's going to be most likely about Blake. But um, the end of the episode, it's the next day. Was, again, we don't know what happened with Blake. But I'm assuming that the next episode's going to be about that entire battle. But um, we see Crow... Um, you know, you know, Ruby comes up to him, but then Crow is like his hand comes out, and it appears that there's this like purple stuff on him, uh, which is kind of weird because it doesn't look like blood. But I, that's what I thought it was going to be at first was going to be blood, but it's not red; it's purple. Um, Crow did mention early in the episode too that you know he has bad luck, so you know that's why he's called Crow. Um, while well, he was drinking heavily, too, you know, like, but, I mean, but, yeah, uh, there's purple, and Ruby's, like, all concerned, so I'm very interested to see what this purple stuff is, uh, I guess it's blood, but, kind of, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe Crow's, maybe Crow's blood's purple, I don't know, it could be, it could be poison, I don't know, I don't know what it is, um, well, yeah, because isn't that guy supposed to... Because he's kind of had, like, the the spikes or whatever on the tail or whatever. Like, maybe maybe he, maybe he was poisonous or something. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like, you know, bud. I don't know. We'll see in the next episode, probably. Um, next episode, again, will most likely be uh, about Blake, for the most part, because they're probably going to get into that White Fang scene that we got at the end there, almost at the end, um, so, that was basically the episode, uh, more of an, an informal episode than anything else, um, but I guess it did what it was supposed to do, um, so, that's the only, like, thing, is it did what it was supposed to do, so, um, probably gonna get the White Fang next uh, for episode 9 uh, with the bat with battle with Blake and Sun Wukan and then probably after that since there's like going to only be like what three more episodes it's probably gonna be more about Ruby uh, Ruby's team then after that because that's all that the plot seems to be going for Yang really doesn't seem sick. I mean, other than her getting her arm, that's about it. She really hasn't done any... I mean, there could be, like, a surprise, like, at the end where she meets up with everyone. That could happen. Well, that's what I'm thinking, because I think she's gonna be, like... If Yang does make an appearance, I think it's gonna be, like... She's gonna join up with the Ruby team. That's what I'm thinking. Or something, some, or maybe something's gonna happen where they all like end up meeting up because Weiss isn't doing anything either, really, right now. Besides, eventually she's probably gonna bust out. That's something that could be something too where they eventually just all meet up. But I don't know, because Blake is over here, and then like the Ruby team, Ruby and everyone else is over here. So it's like I don't, I don't know what's going on there. You know, we don't know where anyone else is. Um, so, like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see in the coming episodes what they do, but I think the next episode is going to be mainly about Blake. Uh, Blake and Son of Khan. Um, so, yeah, um, that is my, uh, Ruby episode review. If you like this video, give me a like. If you like any this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe, comment. Also, I do have a Patreon, so if you do like my uh, contents and support it, um, hit me up there. Um, that'd be kind of cool. 
Um, and uh, that's really about it. Also, I do have a Steam account too for Ruby, uh, the Ruby Steam video game. So if you guys want to hit me up, all my info again will be in the uh, description. So uh, you know if you want to play some Ruby on Steam with me. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm out. I'm a Team Gohan fighter. I'm out of here. Peace.